you don't leave immediately, you will be harmed. One of the terrific things about living in a safe environment You don't worry about break-ins, burglaries, or any of the things that threaten those families. Things like earthquakes. In that case, this house has a means of escape. And so you can actually be airlifted from this property, even if the roads around us collapsed. Right now, we're on the fourth floor of the safe house. This is the bedroom floor. You notice we're entering a door that looks normal. Actually, what it is, it's a 650-pound ballistic bomb-proof door. The concept of the safe room is that it encompasses a broad living area. You've got the master closet, the master bathroom area. You go on into the master bedroom here. And then off from the master bedroom, you have both of the children's rooms and a little foyer area. The entire thing is open and secure, so you're already safe when you go to bed at night. It's very different than the idea behind a panic room, where you actually have to round everybody up and jump into something. What's unique about this house is that all of its security features are portable. I can lock and unlock a door. I can look at a camera. I can even communicate with an intruder. Now imagine this image. It's of my daughter's bedroom. I could be watching it from within the house or any place around the world, on my iPad or my iPod. By pushing this little cloud, I'm going to release a gas, and in the period of between one and three seconds, that entire floor will be so dense that if you put your palm to your nose, you wouldn't be able to see your palm. Leave immediately. You really don't want to be here. You have a certain level of peace of mind that's hard to understand unless you have it. It's wonderful.